Hey guys, Mike Creek at 113, sitting on the floor tonight with some books and some radios. We got some Charles Dickens and we got some Tom Sawyer. Anyway, yeah, I don't, you don't want to know about that, do you? But anyway, what we have in front of each other here are uh, some ham radios, mobile radios. And they're for the uh, 1.25 megahertz uh, VHF, UHF. I don't know. That's a good question. Banned. <laughs> so somebody uh, can correct me there in the comments on that one. Anyway, this is uh, some mobile radios here. We got the Alinko DR235 Mark III, 25 watt radio, uh, FM transceiver. You know, does your repeaters and your, uh, you know, your simplex and all that jazz. Very cool radio. Comes with a uh, microphone with a DTMF buttons on there it has your lock on there in case you accidentally uh you know key up and uh hit a button and you don't want to and you could turn your dtmf bu uh buttons all these are on and off very interesting 25 watt radio mobile radio large heat sink aluminum chassis here very uh heavy duty top firing speaker and it's got some data ports in the back for programming and uh, very sought after right now, very sought after radio. I don't think there's any in stock right now. <clears throat> so uh, the owner of this, which is not me, uh, is uh, very lucky to have it, brand new. And uh, he let me borrow it to test it out, just to see if I like 220 or not. Uh, anyway, and the, the other one over here is the, uh, I don't think the model number is listed on here. But... This is a TYT version of a, it's a used one. It's a little bit used there. Another buddy let me borrow this one. This is the TYT HT, or I said that backwards, didn't I? TYT uh, Tango Hotel uh, 9000. This is a 55 watt 220 radio. Uh, comes FM, uh, large seek heat sink, top firing speaker as well. This has the, uh, the, I forget what these things are called, RF5 or whatever jack, uh, kind of like a phone or a uh, Cat5 jack here. Um, don't, I don't particularly like them. Uh, my uh, Yesu is the same way, I don't like it. <clears throat> I like these. I like these. The CB guys are going to know this more than anything. Very sturdy, you know, tension break right there. Uh, this is a lot of pins right there. Six, seven, eight pin. Eight pin right there. But that's to control the, uh, the, the microphone there. So this is a lot sturdier, it seems like, the cord anyway. Uh, I haven't really run into any issues yet because I try to be very careful with these uh, microphone jack connectors there. But uh, this one as well has uh, DTMF buttons on it and lock and... Uh, DTMF, you can turn that on and off. There's your microphone hole. And then this one as well. There's That's up there. But anyway, this is a 55-watt radio, large heat sink. Uh, you got your uh, pro program uh, jack in the back there and your SO239. So these are some options if you're, uh, if you're new to 220 and you're looking for uh, a mobile radio for a little bit more kick. Uh, these are two viable options right there. So, what I have, as you guys know, is the uh, little Balfang Tribander here, the VS9 or 9S or whatever. Uh, you know, totally capable. I'm able to get into a repeater or two uh, in my area. And uh, I have a separate quarter wave antenna I built for that. But if you're looking to step up your game a little bit, here's a couple options right here. So anyway, this one's 25 watts, and you would think, oh, well, this one's 55 watts, so that's better. Well, not necessarily. I mean, it depends on where the repeaters are that you're trying to get into compared to your locations. I don't really know too much about either radio. I'm just showing you that these are some options. Uh, these are some of the things that are out in the market still. I know this one's still in production, where you can get them both in the used market. But... Like I was getting back to that, the 25 watt radio is still very capable, very capable. And I have a 25 watt uh, dual band radio in my vehicle. And I can get out really far with that, get repeaters very far away. 
up to uh, 35, 40 miles in, in, the, in the mobile, uh, depending on the height of where I am on top of a hill or whatever. But either way, this has good range. So uh, it's up to you. It's up to you, depending on your, <laughs> your situation. But I just wanted to show you these radios uh, that I had them for a little bit here. I got to get them back to their owners. And I appreciate them letting me borrow them. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, uh, 220, you know, 1.25 meters. Something to think about. As a technician, amateur radio operator, you are able to speak and, you, you know, do data and all that stuff on 220. So that's something to think about. You know, why not, <clears throat> why just have the, uh, the dual 70 centimeter and, uh, 2 meter radio? You could use two, uh, 220, you know? 1.25 meters so something to think about another form of uh communications out there a little bit of best of both worlds if you know about vhf and uhf a uh, little it's smack dab in the middle so you get the best of both worlds on that so anyway i just wanted to show you these real quick and i hope you guys had a great weekend and uh seven three so keep playing with those radios and thanks guys for letting me borrow these radios all right mike cricket 113 we'll be clear